Hey, 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 this is Christine, your DIY craftaholic. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if you are new, welcome. This is what would you make and I have four DIYs for you. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now for DIY number one, I have this bamboo wreath form that I had from Dollar Tree last year. And this is a roll of ribbon from Amazon. Now I thought that I could use a piece of the burlap to cover this bamboo wreath but it did not come out as, as I expected it so I scrapped that idea and removed the burlap. I got this bunch of eucalyptus from Walmart and I had that in my stash. Never used it and I'm just cutting off a few pieces and then the stem from another pick and I glued those on as my base and this rose also from my stash. Glued those on top and that's done. Now I needed something to hang it and I cut off a piece of the ribbon, folded in the sides and glued those down. And then tuck in the end and glue that down on top of the wreath. And after I did that, I thought to myself, then how is it gonna hang on the door, Christine? Duh! So off camera, I just add a little piece of jute at the top and you'll see that in the final reveal. So now let's move on to DIY number two. This is one of those little honeycomb sign that I got from Dollar Tree. And here I'm trying to remove the tag from the back, but that was proving very difficult. So I moved to the front. I took my or my spatula and I'm removing the top piece. And that too was difficult. So now I'm using some heat just to loosen up the glue or the adhesive. And then once I got that off, I took the sanding block and I'm sanding off the paper. So I took some Waverly Antique Wax and I am applying that around the border or around the edges. And once I had that done, you like to say that a lot, Christine, once you had that done. <laughs> Now this vinyl is from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to mark where I needed to cut. I needed to apply a piece of that over the paper and I took a pencil and just trace that on there and then cut that out with a utility knife because to me that's easier than just using the scissors. And now it's all cut out. I eventually had to soak off the rest of the paper that was there because it was showing through. So then I peeled off the backing and I'm just using my finger. As you can see, I, I placed the wrong part down. You have to be careful with that too. <laughs> so I fixed that by just putting on back the adhesive and then pulling off the other side. And then use my finger to just smooth that out. And then I place the top piece back on just to give me an idea as to where I need to place my stickers. These are stickers that I purchased from Amazon in my quest to find bee themed stuff. <laughs> so I selected the one that I wanted to use. Here I have a queen bee. And the other two at the sides. and then here I am using the scissors to just trim off the excess and now I'm gonna use some Eileen's tacky glue to replace the top here I'm just wiping off the excess glue and then use some clamps craft clamps or clip to just keep that in place just so it can dry easily I did not use any hot glue because that's plastic and then I took a little burlap bow that I purchased in a set of 200 from Amazon, glued that on there, and this one is done. More in the final reveal. Now this video is a part of What Would You Make Challenge, the February edition, hosted by Zena from OK At Home, Connie from Connie's Creative Creations, and this month we have guest host Marika from Marika Creations. I will leave links to their channels in the description box below as well as the playlist. Be sure to check them out. These ladies are super creative and talented. Now we're moving on to our third DIY. This one I got from Dollar Tree and as you can see I started because I wanted to test these paint pens that I purchased from Amazon and one evening I just sat down and colored in the, the honeycomb and 
started coloring the bee. So now I'm just taking the black and I'm just outlining his wing. I kind of created a little groove in the wing just to separate so it looks like it's two pieces. And after I finished decorating the bee, I took some Waverly Antique Wax and a dry chippy brush and I'm just dry brushing just to change or to give him a rusted look, a rustic. <laughs> So that he looks like he is very busy working his honeycomb. And once I was satisfied with the amount of that that I needed on there, I added a little mud podge just to seal everything in. So if you are new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I'm so happy you joined me today. Here on my channel, I do DIYs on a budget, do look for less. If you love budget-friendly DIYs like these and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing and be sure to hit that notification bell. Hit it again and select all so YouTube notifies you whenever I upload new videos. I made a little finger bow and just glued that at the top. And now this bee is done. Now for DIY number four, this one is, I got this door tag from Woodpecker's Craft and this acrylic yellow paint from Crafter's Square and I painted like two coats and then went in with another of my bee stencil and I'm using this bee to the corner. Now I had to sponge it down with some Mod Podge on both sides. And then I placed that down, kind of slanted just a little bit so that the wings could fit in the space. And then I'm covering up the side so that none of the black paint would get there. I then took some Waverly Black in ink and I'm just dabbing on just lightly the amount on here. So if you would like to connect with me outside of YouTube, I am on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and buy me a coffee link with my link tree. And then I used a small paintbrush to just fill in the, ex the little corners that didn't get all of it. And then dry that with my heat gun. Now I needed to write on the word quiet and I used this little marker set that I have, but that was too pale. So I went and I grabbed my furniture marker and made that a little bigger. Now that was written on transfer decal and i'm just soaking that in a little bit of water i have done this technique so many times on my video i leave one of them up here so you can see how i did that and then once i soaked that i dried it and then here i am going in again with the black marker to just give some stitch mark and made another finger bow Use the detailed scissors to trim down the end or dovetail the ends. Glue that on the top. I went over it with some Mod Podge to seal it. And that is done. And now we are here for the final reveal. Now these are the wood DIYs I made today guys let me know which one of these was your favorite and don't forget to check out the host channels that's Connie, Zena and Marika. I'll leave their, their links in the description box below. And if you enjoy DIYs on a budget I suggest this video right here or this playlist and stay safe until next time. Bye.